everyone, it's Stormer here, and welcome back to Subnoxious. Today, we are gonna go to the land. And before we do that, we are gonna make a spy pangling. I was looking at the recipes and going, oh, we can make those. I conveniently built the base right next to the entrance to the land portion. So if we just go right up here to the surface, we should be able to see it. There's the dock right there. I told you it was dang close. Made it to the dock. Signals Lisa, from the I have deep. Kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something, almost like an SOS. Mm. A Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. This is the bridge. This is how we get to the other half of the land portion. Hydraulic fluid? Huh. How does one make hydraulic fluid? Oh, that's pretty easy. There's also plenty to explore on this side of the island, so I am more inclined to do that at the moment. We can get a snow fox, which is a land speeder. I'm gonna freeze to death. Lovely. I like how they added the coldness so it's like oxygen, but on land. And I guess being in a cave helps. There's a PDA. Let's find shelter before we read that. I don't want to freeze to death out here. Oh man, I need to get up. I need to get somewhere. Maybe we just head to the caves. Fire robotics center. Can we just walk in here and get warmed up? Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Interesting. It's all broken. Maybe Sam blew it up. Spy penglings are creating so many new research opportunities. They're perfect for exploring tight spaces I can't squeeze into. Little pockets hiding lots of resources. The penglings can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seem to generally ignore them. My little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. Snow Fox hover pad. Sam loved working here with her spy penguins. Snow Fox. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. This place got messed up. Ooh, glacial basin map. Sam's bed. In Sam's room. But Framed it's not out. right. It's all destroyed. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Zeta's bed. Ooh, that's a cool design. The life pod. I like it. Cold Sue, the TM team. <laughs> Practicing mindfulness as a leader. Your team is a sponge just waiting to soak up the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing warmth and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who follow you with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first. That is the power of mindfulness in leadership, which we'll discuss further in the next chapter. But first, let's explore another element of leadership that often goes overlooked, the steeping time. Once you've poured your healing magic over your team, you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their new environment and become fragrant and fully realized. There is power in a healing leader, but a patient healing leader is unstoppable. Glacial Basin Map. This is the lower section. This is the entrance and the bridge, and I believe we are right here. Kind of looks like there's some precursor thing right here, maybe? And we need to spy pangling right there, which we just walked by. And for some reason, this one is specifically important. Ah, that's the precursor thing. It's a portal. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? Hi, oh, you. Fine. <laughs> but I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, Ooh. a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but Bullshit. I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. That's what they all say. Sam, 
I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Alien intruder. Oh, I think that's about the game they were talking about. The Among Us game. Fridge. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy pangling in training. We're recording audio. Is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. Well, I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Go, buddy. There we go. Quartz, 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 magnetite. Yes, please. We haven't found any of that this whole time. Look, it's me. Hello. I would so slip on this ice. <laughs> Snow fox. Ah. Hi. Hi, sir. Hi. Run. He just went straight into hunt mode as soon as he smelled. The landscape looks great, but where the heck am I? Hey, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. It's Fred. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. Carlin. No. Who is he? Not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern. With the frozen Leviathan, I investigated and... You I... investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. <laughs> Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the corral mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, <laughs> you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! Do we need food there? <sighs> it's just the magnetite. Fine. My robotics landing pad. Did I literally... I just made a loop. Wow. Genius. Further research has indicated that these gates are in fact medium-range teleporters. Teleportation requires the pairing of primary and secondary gates. Primary gate controls the destination and must be powered in order for the materials to be transferred bidirectionally. If the primary gate is not functioning, secondary gate is rendered useless. At this time, the processes that enable this alien teleportation technology are not well understood. It looks like we can either go up and around and get into this area or we could keep going down and i just somehow missed it oh is there anything up here silver and copper hi sir snow fox hover pad can do that as soon as we make a wiring kit back at base it will be worth it for sure because then we can zoom around. Hydraulic fluid. Snow fox hover pad. Build ourselves a snow fox. Construct. Spinning it around. Snow fox, yeah. I think we have a boost that we can use, but it uses like extra power. Put in. There. Here we go. Repair the bridge and can we extend? Yeah, breaking it all off. 
With that being said, we're gonna go the other way. <laughs> this thing is a little bit wonky to control. It's a little bit laggy on the input, which kind of makes sense for a hovercraft. Can we, can we turn? Why, 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 what, what are you doing? Holy crap. Oh my goodness, what are you? Ugh. Hi, sir. This is the way I... What? Is there some creature behind me? Maybe he jumped down. I don't know. I don't care to find out. Oh, he's chasing me! Whoa! You can do so much with audio in games. In that area, which means we're actually pretty close to the important pengling access. Maybe it's this one that we need to go to? You will find out. Hello, Mr. Pengling. Yes, yeah, antidote. This, 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 this. Let's go. And magnetite. I will take the magnetite. He's gonna Is use this else? antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. I like how the snow fox has a built-in heater to it. Okay. Let's keep on trucking. That's the sea truck, not the snow fox. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing controls like absolute butt. Oh, it's a baby penguin. Ooh, there's trees. Snow fox jump module. Head for the tower. I think the key to the snow fox is turning with where you're looking as you're going forward. If you're not moving very fast, it gets really hectic and doesn't really work. Ooh, 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 what is this? Oh, yep, we're opening it. Hello? Arvin, ah, this guy. We heard him in the logs earlier. Okay, so this is why he was saying I didn't see you there is because he's the security guy watching all the cameras. Yo, oh my gosh. That is so freaking cool. Ooh, necklace. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. I don't need another scanner, so that can stay. I'm- the Investigation of the fire excavation site including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Yeah. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Havan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Huh. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. The prints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. Interesting. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet... I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? So they not suspected her. That your sister's death was accompanied by a significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. <laughs> Are your feelings confused? No, she's destroying it because I don't she know. doesn't I, want the karat. Disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. Was it? Was it though? My that's dearest what... Adeline at Rosita. Ah, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here and. Oh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. 
I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you, of our family, or the good life we had. And I... Oh, am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? It was very real. Trollog, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. <laughs> Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. <laughs> oh, wait now. What's this? A rock. I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. <laughs> Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. This is cool. Oh, its foot is right there. Can I scan it? Yes. This is so freaking cool. What would be even scarier though is if at one point it did wake up and it just started shattering the ice oh so they were using prom suit to dig through up we get but he's in there and we're out here and i forgot that we're in there and he's out here where's the caveman they are just loading us up on materials holy cow hi can I scan your head? Can we actually climb on it? I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. We know what happens when you touch it. You get infected. We found the antidote and we can just uh, clean it up. We can finish Sam's work. And there we go. I just think it would be so scary right now doing this if it then just blinked and woke up. That would be so freaking scary and so cool. I believe the antibacterial agent was effective. Yeah. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution, like knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. I guess that's that story concluded. The end of some things feels good and the end of other things doesn't feel good. I think it depends on what it is. It, The sense of accomplishment definitely feels good. And that pretty much only comes at the end of stuff. Kind of sucks that Sam didn't get to finish what she was doing. But, you know, I guess her sacrifice got us to finish her work and to the planet and such. Why is this place so difficult to navigate? It's like I need signs, I need a road. Someone give me directions. Hi, sir. Boost, yeah. Oh, it's baby, baby snow stalker. This is their cave. Actually, we might have, there might be stuff in there that we want though. That's if we want a cold suit. I don't think I want a cold suit that badly. Can we dock it in this thing? 
Yes, we can. Will it auto repair it? Next episode, we're gonna go to the other side of the land and find that architect artifact, as well as I think there's a few others over there. Dude, these posters are dope. This one definitely looks like a drawing. This one is just so well done. That's a cool necklace. If you like this one, share with a friend. And if you wanna see more like this, hit subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.